what's up you guys welcome back to another video it is officially september which means it's time for another monthly reset and in this particular reset i really just want to focus on prepping for a new school year getting back into a routine this past summer has been such a fun one but we're definitely a lot more relaxed in the summertime you know bedtime isn't as strict um morning routine isn't as structured and slowly starting to get back into routine for the school year is crucial especially for myself and Riley we thrive on routines so in today's video I have tons of like decluttering organizing we're going to be cleaning I have a back to school haul for you guys sharing with you guys all the new things that we bought Riley for the school year we officially have her teacher we just found out like a couple days ago and we ended up finding out that she is like one of the best teachers in the school specifically for first grade so I'm like just so happy because teachers really will make or break your experience as a child so it just feels good and comforting that she's going to have a really great teacher she also at least knows one other student in her class which I'm pretty sure she'll know more but all of that kind of stuff just makes me feel a little bit more comforted so we're starting off in her room I think what I really want to do is like declutter I feel as if I've been holding on to things that you know I just maybe wasn't ready to let go of or maybe she wasn't ready to let go of and today's the day that we definitely need to start getting things out decluttering her space so we can just start fresh and new for the school year so that is the first thing that we are going to do I want to declutter all of her things there's definitely some items that I need to like reorganize because what we um, have like the system we have now it's just not really working and there's definitely some things that you know can be thrown out and all that good stuff once we do that then i'll share with you guys a huge back to school haul i got some really nice goodies um that i'm really excited about she's excited about she actually wants to start like wearing some of these things and i'm like no girl like you want to look fresh with all your new gear on for the first day of school this is what her room looks like right now not too bad but there are definitely things that i do need to declutter i need to like organize this space a little bit we're actually not going to be doing toy rotation not today at least I might just wait um, for a little bit later on and also have Riley help me but I do want to get rid of this couch I think it's time to put it away I did ask her about these little I don't even know what you want to call these squishies I guess she said she wasn't quite ready to let them go so we need to kind of figure that part out as well and then I do want to open this ottoman up a little bit and declutter and kind of organize. I completely forgot what I put in here, so I want to do that. We're going to tackle this closet a bit. It's a bit of a mess. Um, right now, go through some of her clothes, um, especially the stuff for the summertime. Anything that we haven't really worn all summer, I think it's time to at least set it to the side. I know there's some shoes that no longer fit her, like all of that kind of stuff. We want to start brand new um, and then just tidy up the space a bit as well.
got this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you have For this particular school year I really didn't want to go all out with all of her like school supplies and stuff I feel as if for kindergarten we literally got every single thing on the list and half of that stuff we didn't even end up using so I plan on not really buying her school supplies until a week or two into school I was able to pull down a lot of her stuff that we purchased last year and we're gonna just repurpose that and reuse it this year so I did include though those items into this haul but mind you we had bought those last year this time I really want to focus I wanted to focus on stuff for her lunch because she's a very picky eater in the sense of yes she could buy school lunches but the only things on the school lunch list that she will eat is the pizza and then also the like cheese sandwich everything else kind of like changes and those are things that she doesn't eat um also i found that near the end of the school year she was not eating her lunch at all like I was sending her to school with no lunch um, because at that point of the year they said that the lunches were free and then it was to the point where her and then her teacher ended up reaching out to me letting me know that like Riley hadn't been eating for the past like three days she didn't say anything to me so this year I really want to focus on her school lunches and I most likely will be making her lunch every single day except for like you know maybe certain things here and there maybe like Fridays I'll take the the day off and maybe she can have the pizza or something like that but I really wanted to focus on a lot of her stuff for like snacks and lunch and all of that good stuff we also needed to purchase some new like sneakers for her um and we were kind of also focusing on like um maybe more like clothes and stuff like that so i have a, a whole random list of different things that we purchased for her so let's jump right on in so the first thing i didn't necessarily plan on purchasing it but i was like shopping around walmart and i saw these and i just could not pass them up and that's just going to be a new set of sheets these are so cute her color scheme i think they will be perfect in her room so i really wanted to just pick these up i just figured it would be nice to start the school year off with some fresh sheets and i just thought that these were so adorable they were super inexpensive i honestly don't even know how much i paid for them but i want to say maybe they could have been like 15 dollars, so a really great deal then we went on a sh little bit of a shopping spree um for school supplies um just like the things i know that she is definitely going to need um so we picked up some new headphones for her at her school. They do like some cute computer work, especially when it comes to, you know, reading and all of that kind of stuff. So we picked these up from Five and Below. They were really cute. They had a bunch of different ones to choose from, but that is what Riley got. We also were told that she needed a one inch ring binder um, that had to have the clear, um, I guess like, pocket in the front so we saw this i feel as if this might have also been from five and below as well and then we also needed to get her a no actually this is from target got this from target and then we also needed to get her a new pencil case because it needed to fit in the desk and also needed to fit all of her like school supplies and stuff so we got this one that also can be inserted into the three ring um notebook as well she picked this out thought it was really cute you guys already know she's a girly girl so you're gonna see a lot of like pinks purples like you know those softer um type of colors 
Uh, we picked out some highlighters. These we got from the Dollar Tree, but then we also saw these at five and below as well. And I thought these were really, really cute. The only reason I got these is I wasn't quite sure. Like we definitely needed highlighters for her, but these are so tiny and cute. They're probably going to get lost. So I did just pick up a second pack just in case and then we also needed glue this is stuff that i know that she will need for school and we also need it for home as well so i got these elmer glue sticks these are from target as well but these are the scented ones and i thought this was cute it's apple sugar cookie blueberry muffin and watermelon so i thought it was a little bit fun also a pack of crayons this is what she used last year as well so we just wanted to pick up and restock on that they said that we needed sticky notes again we went to the dollar store we found these these were really really cute again i don't quite know what they're going to be using the sticky notes for like do they need like your typical standard ones or are we talking about like fun stuff so we picked up the fun stuff for now we will see again once she's like a week or two into school if this is you know if we actually need to go and get some regular ones we got some fun pencils you guys don't sleep on the dark the dollar tree because they have some cute stuff so they had a bunch of different like cute styles for pencils so we got this and then we also got a new pencil sharpener but this is just going to be the electric one so it's going to be easier when it comes to like sharpening her crayons pencils all of that kind of stuff this one i believe also does yeah it needs a three um triple a batteries so i think it's about four of these my mom picked up um one as well so it's just nice to have them at the house i don't think you can ever go wrong um and then as far as her notebooks these are things that we had picked up last year she never got a chance to use so we're just going to be repurposing so she got this one this one and then this one i don't even remember how many notebooks she needed but it shouldn't be any more than three we're only going to first grade and then she also had picked out two folders that we got last year as well so hopefully she'll be using them this year so these are the two that we ended up getting on to some of the other stuff that i picked up for her i also wanted to get her some new like hair supplies i feel as if as she's growing and maturing we're like switching up our like hair game i have definitely been embracing you know her curls and just trying to figure out low manipulation styles that could last us throughout a whole um like the whole week and i feel as if i've kind of gotten into my stride with that especially halfway through the school year last year um you guys also know if you've been following for a while we had some issues with her um like the sides and the edges of her hair they had broken off but they definitely have grown back and i do feel as if the low manipulation styles have been helpful i followed so many different accounts on tiktok pinterest with like cute little girl hairstyles so when i saw some of these off of amazon i wanted to grab them so you got the standard butterfly clips i feel as if if you if you are if you're a little girl or you have little girls you already know and amazon had a really good buy with these these are mini butterfly clips i want to say there might be 50 of them and it was like a couple dollars so i needed to restock up on these so i got those and then we've already actually dipped into these already she was so excited but we got these cute little star clips so the way that i had done these is i put pigtails in her hair or i put like a bun in her hair and we put the clips like all over the back and the front really really cute i also got these from amazon as well the things that i can find i will make sure to link down below because you know some of this stuff doesn't necessarily need to be for school it's just like cute fun things um also i have figured out the products that i need for her to do a wash and go so that has really been working so we're going to be incorporating that more into the school year wash and goes low manip low manipulation hairstyles so having like clips and all of those type of things is really going to help like just jazz up her hair a little bit so so those are the items that I had purchased. Now moving on to her lunch supplies. So because Riley is a picky eater, she does not eat sandwiches. She does not really eat any cold lunches. So that means more work for me. I have to put and make her lunch 
every single morning. So fun times for me. I'm not necessarily looking forward to that because during camp they gave them lunch there. So it was really, really nice. She saw the other kids eating it. So she ate it. Um, I have seen so many people rave about the Ami boxes. So I picked her up an Ami box this school year. It's really, really cute. I like the fact that it is so large that it has the option for hot lunch. So you just take this piece out right here and you can put the hot lunch in there. If you don't want to send a hot lunch at all, you can literally just take it out and put a sandwich in here for any of um, your kids that actually eat sandwiches. It's a perfect place to put that there. It gives us a little divider. You can take this out as well. And then you can just put a whole bunch of different things right here. I already have little like a uh, silicone muffin things, so I could, you know, use those and separate that. And then it also has this area right up here. So she is really excited about the Ami box. I am too. I feel as if everybody and their mother has been using them. So I hope it does work for us. Um, and I like the fact that it does have a little handle as well they came in so many different colors i think green um purple blue so if this goes over well i might end up purchasing one more but we will see the ami box did have some accessories so i grabbed those as well it was a pack of two little silicone containers so i can put any of her dips in here if i'm sending chalk i'm mean, not chocolate if i'm sending ketchup or um barbecue sauce i can put that in here i can also add any of her like strawberries things like that fruits little things like that can go in here and then you can easily put it on any one of those side um you know the side spaces and then the other thing this actually just came in i haven't even opened it yet but it came with a pack of utensils that also comes in this place so it has this little thing here so you could easily just tie it onto the ami box itself and then inside is a fork and spoon this will come in handy because again she eats hot lunches so i will most likely be sending you know things like soup um what else do i do soup chicken nuggets mozzarella sticks um what else have i done i feel as if maybe that's it i'm gonna try mac and cheese again see how that goes spaghetti that is specifically what she asked for the, for the first day of school so I'm going to let you guys know how the Ami box does work. Um, if it's a hit over here, hopefully it's not a flop, but she's excited about it. I am as well. Also, we ended up getting her a new lunch box. The one that she had, it just did not fit every single thing in and we did struggle. The zipper even broke. So I saw this cute one on Amazon. It says lunch on it. So adorable. It fits the ami box it's insulated so literally the ami box fits Ooh. perfectly inside so that is really really nice and then it also is a little satchel as well so she can kind of just like carry her lunch box in she was really excited about this and i like the fact that it has those little um that it's like says lunch on it it looks all cute maybe i might even add like an r onto it so that we know that it's clearly her lunch box and stuff um but yeah i'm really excited about that for snacks so with school we have to send her lunch and then they also have an afternoon snack before i was just putting things in baggies but i stumbled upon this is it a gobi thing i might just be late to the game but i like the fact that this is the small one it comes in two sizes a small and a large i originally purchased the large i just thought it was like too big for really what i need it for and the small was perfect so you could just open this right here and then you can put in one, two, three, four, five, five different snack options. And then all she has to do is just keep pushing that down and it gives her something else to choose from. She's also very excited about this. And 
What I particularly wanted this for is so that I can give her little different options, whether it's some strawberries, maybe some grapes, some fruits, try some maybe, you know, carrot, like raw carrots or things like that, that I can give her a little bit of a variety of stuff. And I've already told her like, look, we are going to be trying different things, healthier options for you. All I ask is that you just try it. I'm not saying that you have to love it, but just try it. So she was open to that as well. So I like the fact that I can kind of give her a little bit of a variety for snack. So really excited about that. She needed a new water bottle. This girl will literally bite off all of the straws on her water bottles, which make them leak. So I got this thermos container from Target. I got the, it's supposed to keep it cold or hot for 12 hours. This is the 16 ounce, um, just so she can be hydrated. And I like the fact that it doesn't have a straw at all. So super excited about this. I will um, add her name to it. We can do all of that later where we can just add her name to the Ami box and to the Gobi um, just so we know that her stuff is hers and we don't have to worry about if she loses it or anything like that. Also for her snacks, I thought this was cute. I'm just trying to be extra are going to be these colorful kids fork, like little mini fork sets. So I want to try, I want to try to like make her fruits and her, you know, snacks and lunches look really, really cute. And I know like people have been like putting these into the lunch boxes and stuff. So I'm going to probably try to do my best where, you know, I go a little bit overboard, just making things cute. I think when it comes to kids, Kids and them eating it's really about how things look and if they're willing to try it so like the cuter it looks I feel as if the more open they are to trying it so hopefully I can get her to try new fruits I was thinking like kiwis um, pineapple like things that I think she's really going to like that are sweet but I think I need to just make them look cuter and she might be open to giving them a try so that is everything that we picked up for snacks and all of that kind of stuff. If you guys are new here, I like to always put like an essentials bag in her book bag. And I found this one at TJ Maxx. I thought it was so cute. The one we currently have is clear. And the reason I want a, you know, one that you cannot see through is simply because in her essentials bag, I like to put everything that she is never going to need whether that's tissues, um, an extra pair of like a change of clothes, accidents happen, um, some extra underwear, um, chapstick, hand sanitizer. Like I always tell her this is her go-to bag. Whereas if, if she needs something, she can always go into her essentials bag, which we will pack all of this stuff um, after we, you know, clean up and a little bit later on in the video. As for her clothes, we got some sneakers depending on the school day whether it's dance or whether it's gym she needs sneakers and i really just wanted to get some good quality ones so we picked out two pairs she got these cute little white adidas's and then she got you know a kid's one i'm not the biggest fan of it but you know what she picked them out herself these cute ones and they also light up as well so we went to dsw got that and then we just also got her some like essentials when it comes to clothing so we went to jc Penney's, and they had these pretty little shirts with the ruffles on them so we got blue and this purple one these were the only two colors that actually had her size we got small it's a little bit big on her but room for her to grow and then we saw this cute little skirt from Target that we could not pass up. I have a feeling she might wear this the first day of school. So super cute. Um, we got a medium just because, again, I like for her to be able to grow into stuff. So we got this. And then I needed a bunch of just basic bottoms. I feel as if all of her tops have so many prints to them. And then we also have bottoms that have prints. So trying to match the prints has been challenging. So I just got some basic um, pants from Walmart. They, I want to say they were like, yeah, $4 and 48 cents. So you can't beat that. So I got black. You can never have enough black. I got these kind of neutral green tone ones. 
gray again will go with anything and then also a navy blue which again will go with anything so i didn't really want to splurge too much on clothes she has enough clothes but there were definitely some essentials that we needed to pick up i need more than just one pair of black pants you know what i'm saying like i need like two or three just because those are something that she can wear on an everyday basis so oh the only other thing that i did get are some clorox disinfecting wipes i will also be putting these into her essentials bag as well that is everything that we picked up for her like school supplies and all of that kind of stuff i'm gonna start to separate these i need to do some um laundry i figured we can wash all of her clothes we also need to wash the bedding and then we also need to start washing all of her um lunch supplies and stuff like that Next thing I want to do is to pack her school bag. She said that she wanted to keep the same bag that she had last year. Um, a friend of ours actually got it for her. I think I'm gonna add a couple of like cute little like chains. I think we have even some um, like pins to kind of like spruce it up a little bit. And then we're gonna add all of the school supplies in there as well as pack her emergency bag. So I basically have everything lined up on this table. The only thing I don't have that we're gonna be putting in there is just going to be her, um, the only thing I don't have is going to be like her lunchbox and everything like that. But everything else we're gonna do, um, everything else we're gonna put into her book bag.
Okay, we got her bag packed. Uh, there are a couple of things that I am missing for her essentials bag. I need to get a pack of individual, um, what is it, tissues. And then I also need to get some band-aids. I think I actually have them in the car. I like to just add that stuff in there as well in case she needs them, even though she can go to the nurse, of course, but I like to also put them in her essentials bag. Um, and then I also need to pack um, some extra underwear and also um, an extra change of clothes for her as well. But for right now, for the most part, the bag is packed. I add some of her squishies and this is what we got when we went to the zoo so i thought this was cute to add on to it and then i also just added this pin on it as well i do need to go to home goods there are a couple of things that i am looking for so i think i'm gonna head there look for that and then also it might be some stuff that i could put in her essentials bag as well i don't know if they sell like individual tissues if not i know i can also get that from the dollar tree um or even target as well um so we should be good there um but for the most part part her bag is packed then once all that stuff um dries like her water bottle all of that kind of stuff i do want to use my cricut joy to just add her name onto that kind of stuff but again i just need all of that stuff to dry first okay so today is the night before her first day of school um i went to home goods and i was able to find this kind of like organizational like system that I can organize all of her hair stuff just because the way we have it right now it just doesn't really work that well and then I did also want to pick out her clothes now I had one thing in mind but now she had asked me if um she can wear a skirt but I think she forgot about what we originally picked out. So I think if anything, maybe I might lay out two different outfits for her and then we will kind of go from there. It's really only two days for the first week of school, which like, why do schools do that? Like, why do you start at the end of the week? Like at that point, you know, there's no point. You might as well have just started at, you know, the following week, but whatever let me show you guys what i picked up from home goods and then we will um organize all of her like hair stuff so this is what i got what i liked was the fact that it had six different um what is it six different drawers and this way i can put all of her little like hair stuff in here instead of ooh, keeping it in here probably just end up possibly getting rid of this this is something I made like years ago just because I didn't have anything else and then it's definitely time to get rid of the this as well maybe see if I can repurpose it for something else but for right now it just it doesn't really work and plus we also got rid of a lot of like her like hair um like the old headbands that just don't fit her head anymore so I don't want to hold on to those and honestly she's really not that big of a headband kind of girl so hoping to move all of this stuff out and then I could put her like lotion and her sound machine um, or other stuff on top
For the first day of school, I was thinking about her wearing this white tank top and then this cute, adorable skirt that we got from Target. I thought I had her pink tank top like this one here, but I guess maybe it's at her dad. So I will check with him um, to see if he can find that and bring that over. I think the pink would look a lot better. And then I couldn't find her skorts. So I have to check with him again, but I thought about this cute little romper that we got from Primark. Um, she absolutely loves this. This is really, really cute. It's going to be like 94 degrees tomorrow. So definitely very hot and also something she can play in on, you know, the playground after, you know, lunch. I also had forgotten that I needed to pack a change of clothes and also some extra underwear in her essentials bag. So I did that. I just picked an easy dress and then I put it in this plastic bag. I did the same thing for the underwear because again, if there's going to be an accident, you know, maybe it got wet for some, like for some reason, or I don't know, maybe they're painting or, you know, something and it just gets ruined. I don't want it to ruin the rest of the bag. So she can always just put it back in the plastic bag. And then she has a change of clothes as well. I, I know for kindergarten, I didn't put all of this in her essentials bag. I actually handed it to the teacher and we kept a plastic bag there, but I feel like for first grade, she can just have everything in here, especially since it's a little bit of a bigger bag. So these are going to be the things for her. And then um, as far as shoes, I figured she can just wear her cute little pink sandals. They'll go with either outfit and we should be good but I will see if I can find her you know her squirt because that's specifically what she asked for and then in here in her closet I have this bar which I need to move up let me fix this okay so that's better so I have this bar that we keep on the side where we can just hang all of her clothes for the next day. Um, I just repurposed this bar. I forgot what we were using it for before, but I just repurposed it. I figured it's a great way just to put all of her clothes on the side. Um, so it's just an easy grab and go the morning of. Oh my God, it is so hot outside. I literally went outside for like no more than two minutes and I am like sweating so badly. But we have everything prepped and ready for school. The only thing I need to do is just like label all of her lunch stuff um, and snack stuff. So we have like the Gobi that we need to do, um, her Ami box, and then also her water bottle as well. So I figured the easiest thing to do is just to use my Cricut Joy. I wish I had more of my colors here because I'm pretty sure I had like pink, maybe purple, I'm not 100% sure, but all I seem to have here is like a whole bunch of like black, white, uh, we have silver and gold. So she requested gold so I think figured today what we'll do is we will just do the her like her name and then um I'll check my mom's house to see if I have any more and then we can put like you know designs on it like heart stars you know make it look cute and all that stuff but I do like the fact that this is pretty good when it comes to like washing um, because I did one of her bottles like a couple years ago and it still had everything stuck onto it so that is what we are working on just gonna do her name um, so this way in case she loses anything they know um, whose it is
Okay, so we got everything labeled. So this is really good. Super cute. And look at Riley. She did her own. I'm so proud of her. And then this is what the water bottle looks like. I don't, I do need to label this. Um, I'm almost thinking about seeing if she wants me to put an R on this, <clears throat> like an R patch. Um, and then I will probably maybe put her name on the inside or something like that. But we have everything. And then I guess tonight I will probably at least start putting some of the snacks in here. She wants soup now for lunch tomorrow, which is a little crazy just because it's going to be like 90 something degrees. But, you know, whatever. I will make soup. But then I just have spaces here that I can um, put some like side dishes on. So. It is the night before the first day of school, so I am doing my closing shift by cleaning up the kitchen. And then I also want to pre-pack her lunch. Last year, I waited until the morning of to get all of this stuff done, and I do not want to put that additional stress on myself this year. So I am basically going to pack as much as I can, anything that can go into the fridge for overnight. And then the hot portion of her lunch, I will worry about in the morning. But I have an idea as to what I plan on making for her I do always ask what she would like and then I will worry about heating that up the morning of so it's fresh nice and hot perfect for her lunch time So we have everything all packed and ready to go, her water and her water bottle. So I will put that in the fridge. I put her book bag near the door. And then for her lunch, again, she wants soup. So I'm actually just going to take down, uh, I'm going to take down some soup. This is what we got today. Some princess soup. Hopefully that does not change and she doesn't want to go back to pasta or spaghetti, but I do have some noodles already cooked. So all I have to do is just warm it up, put some sauce on there and call it a day. So soup is going to go in here. I have some Cheetos and then I have some um, grapes, which I cut in half. And then I use these cute little, um, what is it called? Toothpick things, I guess, that I showed you guys earlier. And then for this section, what I ended up doing was taking one of these, ooh, taking one of these go-gurt things. 
and then I put a put it in the freezer put a hair tie around it we're, we're going with it because then it could fit in perfectly and then it will be frozen like this and then it will thaw out by the time she eats lunch so we have that prepped and ready to go um I think I might just take only this out and put this in the fridge just because I think it's a little bit weird putting Cheetos in the fridge like even if it's going to be thawed out later I don't know it just seems weird to me so I will take this out and then leave this out on the counter and honestly I wasn't quite sure what to put in here and I didn't want to put too many options just because again like I don't know it's like it's only snack time you know what I mean so what we ended up having is some sweet smarts then we have some strawberries pretzels goldfish and then a couple of mini oreos so again i think i'm just i need to get used to kind of like putting different options out there because honestly i have no idea what to do um <laughs> i feel like i'm starting from scratch all over again um but i did want to put a lots of like fruit options so we do have the grapes and then we also have the strawberries and i think maybe next time i might do two fruit options in here and then we have some apples that i can put in here as well Some balance in 